see what's going on Libra. And we do have the Devil and the Three of Wands. We might be waiting on a Capricorn or a Capricorn is waiting on us to do something about. The three of Wands is having expectations, right? And um, the Capricorn again with the Eight of Pentacles, they want to make the effort, um, Libra. They want to put in the work um, to be with you, to have a connection with you. It, um, now they want something and they are actually pretty stressed. The Devil with the Nine of Swords is a lot of dark energies at this time. Um, somebody is afraid, afraid to lose, somebody is obsessing over someone. Um, nine of Wands, rest and reconsider. The Devil with the Nine of Wands, right? Let's take it slow. Nine of Wands is, you know, let's step back a bit. Let's protect ourselves a bit here. The Devil and the Empress. Are you kidding me? One is the darkest energies, the other one is the lightest one. Libra, you might have two people in your life. One is the Devil, one is the Empress. And of course, Empress is Libra. Energy, Taurus Libra. But I'm just saying, and the Sagittarius energy, the devil and the temperance. Okay, Capricorn energy, Sagittarius energy, but we have here some guidance. The dark is too dark and we need some healing and some balance in whatever is going on. Right, it's going to extremes. We have the devil and the empress. But let's see what this is all about. So bottom of the deck, two of swords, we are thinking. We are contemplating, but it's not good. <laughs> we are deploying mental energies to think about cheating, lying, and deceiving. Maybe they did that to us. And we are actually seeking the truth. But look at the combination. Two of swords with the seven of swords. It's a lot of stress because we are going round and round and round with a situation where we uh, think or we want to find the truth, right? Just saying. Okay. So a lot of swords, which, which, which is your energy, but um, let's see why are we so stressed. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And moving forward, or the energy is coming your way, or the outcome of this connection. Bottom of the deck, we do have the strength, Leo energy. But this is about being courageous. I do believe, um, Libra, we are going right now through a situation that requires a lot of thought. It might be shady. Seven of Swords, there is something in the dark. We don't know what this is, but our intuition tells us. You know what? We need to look into it, right? That's energy because it gets us uh, quite anxious, you know? Two of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Let me take a look because otherwise I might be very stressed. And the strength is the energy of courage, right? Courageously looking a situation into its eyes and saying, I am seeing you. Um, so Libra, in the past, we had a lot of love with this person. We do have the Six of Pentacles combined with the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is somebody fitting the profile, right? Nine of Cups is like, oh yeah, they are who, who I want, right? They represent everything that I want. And um, I'm pretty sure you've been uh, welcomed with the energy of giving and receiving, balance, reciprocation, decisions, kindness, it's the energy of generosity and it's the energies of, um, of emotions, right? I do love pentacles because of the stability and the everyday life in it. So I kind of feel you are um, served, you know, uh, by this person. It can also be your energy you bringing to the table, the energy of happiness, reciprocation, balance, justice, and fairness. Um, but Libra, this person of yours, they might have been an adventurer because we do have the Nine of Pentacles and, um, and the, uh, the Fool, right? Enjoying single life and, um, I don't want to say new beginnings. Wait, I know, I know, you'll tell me, but it's the Fool, new beginnings, but it's uh, more of a sense of adventure, a sense of, it feels like Sagittarius energy, right? Where they want to, they wanted to explore to have the freedom to do so in a mind frame where, uh, you know, somebody is free of all attachments, you know, and uh, they feel they can do anything they want to. And when it's time to leave, they just leave and, and leave you wonder. Um, it 
it's kind of that kind of energy, right? Um, for some of you, might be dealing with somebody who has difficulties trusting um, either people, circumstances, situations themselves, um, because somebody here might be actually preferring to uh, remain single and um, and be in exploration kind of mode, right? Because trusting might be an issue. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, we had a decision and we had the hermit mode, right? Somebody said, I need time, I need space, I want to be on my own, I want to have this, I want to have that, you know, pretty, uh, pretty interesting um, in terms of energies. And uh, major arcana, right? Major arcana. So, important transformations with a judgment, important chapters being closed, time being asked. Um, time and wisdom being needed um, at this time, at that time in the past. Now, current energies, we, oh my God, Libra, are we observing them? Are we following them? We do have observe, and it's the energy of the hangman. This is then, and, and again, major arcana, Libra, we are going through major transformation, positive, major healing and major wisdom. Um, the hangman and the star Aquarius energy, but we have healing for some of you are guided actually at this time of separation to focus on healing and also walk a mile in their shoes. Um, it is an enlightening opportunity uh, that's going on right now. Um, it happens for a reason. This combination of energies is the combination of it happens for a reason. And that is the reason in it that we need to observe. We need to explore. We need to find it, we need to heal, right? Um, spiritual align, alignment for some of you, a lot, I would say. Hangman and, and the star is a lot of um, wisdom from within and wisdom from um, the spiritual realm. For some of you, this is counseling and guidance. This is asking for advice for some of you and also by watching, right? Learning through observation. Now this person of yours, they feel lonely at this time and they are manifesting new beginnings. The magician with the five of pentacles. They might be go going through financial um, struggles, having lost money, um, a sense of security, a sense of financial security and manifesting a new one. Making a plan, coming from a place of, um, of um, spirituality but also brains. It's a combination of I can do something and it's a combination with as above, so below. Whatever comes my way, I am going to work with it. Right? That's a magician. And I'm going to make the most out of it. Right? And at this time, Libra, there is Ace of Cups between the two of you and the Three of Pentacles, reaching out and love abundance. There is an offer on the table and a desire to reach out and give it. And it's mutual. Right? You want to give them a cup of love, they want to give you a cup of love. I don't know if it's forbidden or secret love with the seven of swords, the overall energy, the two of swords contemplating. We have the strength, which is the energy of lust and pleasure. So um, can be that, but um, can be forbidden love, right? Uh, but at this time, it's pure love between the two of you. And, um, and a desire to build something, a sense of partnership, a sense of we can have something solid and, um, and move forward. And now we have repeat energies, which we love. Um, energies coming your way, the hangman and the four of wands, joy and stability. And again, this energy of observation. And I'm sensing, Libra, that this is kind of the universe asking you really to look in, deeply look into that situation of yours that you go, in, go, you go through. And it can be a family matter, it can be, um, can be a spiritual matter when it comes to this connection, but that is something that you need to pay attention to, right? You have twice the, obs the observe. That is kind of, and it's major arcana, right? So it's lessons and pieces of advice. And if that is, it's kind of like the universe saying, the answer is right under your eyes, right? It's under your nose, it's in front of you, right? That's evident truth. And joy and stability is right in front of you. You know, you just have to observe. And I'm kind of sensing by the energies of it, we're going to see with the other ones. I don't know if you are restless or your mind, uh, Libra, is restless at this time. Two of Swords is a lot of thinking. Seven of Swords is a lot of shadows of the mind. 
Um, but I'm sensing with all these major arcana, it's kind of, can you just stay quiet and observe, you know, whatever is um, unfolding in front of you? This is how it feels. And in it, that is your joy and stability. And through observation, you're going to see your goal of joy and stability, you know. Can you stay put for a while? And uh, and look, it's it's not staying put and sleeping, right? And they manifest you again, Libra. Coming their way, Three of Pentacles with the Magician. They do manifest a partnership with you. They believe in it. They are working with the universe for it. They are manifesting, allowing space. A space in their heart, space in their home. We know how manifestation works, right? The law of attraction. So, um, and, and, and again, the energy of partnership. They believe a partnership is possible. Um, Libra, nobody wants to walk away, eh? We do have uh, mutual energies coming your way. The Eight of um, eight of Cups and the Moon. Afraid that the other one is detaching and letting go. Uh, the energy of confrontation, right? Confronting the emotional detachment. Confronting the current situation. Confronting the fears. And combined is the energy of being afraid that you'll walk away. Being afraid that they will walk away. But actually on their side, and it's interesting, maybe Libra, you've done a lot for this connection and the universe is saying, can you stay put for a while? And we have them in like double action mode. Twice the magician is a world of manifestation combined with getting back their self-esteem, the tools, right? To move forward, the energy of partnership because right now they feel lonely. Libra, they feel lonely. And that is time and... Um, um, and um, resources that they want to put in into this connection of yours. Okay, and that is love. I every time I see at the core of the reading, at the heart of the reading, every time I see Ace of Cups, we know that is love. So everything else is detail that we need to observe, right? So that is love, love and partnership all over this reading love and partnership manifestation of love and partnership now let's ask for some guidance let's see what we are guided to do so we do have reconciliation libra someone from the past is returning to your life we do have let your friends help you at this time ask for and accept support from others and we do have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So reconciliation, let your friends help you, forgiving and learning. Whatever happened with this person, um, it had a purpose, right? So let's see what else. Oh, chivalry. We love this. Good manners, right? Somebody here is guided to be a gentleman or a lady about, to be kind, to have manners, right? And going back to somebody or accepting somebody back, we have to do it with grace, right? At least that is the message here, right? Because we can accept and or take them back, but in the back of our head, we might, um, you know, have um, different thoughts or, and now somebody, I mean, you are guided to be, um, kind about this reconciliation let your friends help you spiritual maturity so now we know forgiving and learning serve the purpose of ascension you are guided to turn to spirit right let your friends help you and then spiritual maturity that is guidance that is counseling in a spiritual journey forgiving and learning libra and be authentic be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Be authentic, right? Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And you know what, Libra? I am really guided to have general advice, not the energies we want to put back into the flow, but more of a general guidance when it comes to this connection. And I have a big deck that I combine a couple of them. So, well, you know me by now. So let's see what else. Trusting heaven, Libra. Trusting heaven. You are safe. You are safe. 
Angels stand close so you are not alone. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Trust in heaven, Libra. That is a bigger plan. That is something that you don't see that is in the works. We do have quiet retreat. I love this. A bit of meditation, right? A bit of time in the nature, you know, before the winter hits. So it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. And it's interesting, this is your hermit twice, right? It's kind of the universe being coherent and saying, you know what, observe and, um, you know, allow the clarity within to come to the surface. You'll know what to do next, right? But it's quiet time. It's interesting. It's three times. And we have the, the overall energy, the energy of thought, two of swords, tons of contemplation. Seven of Swords, fear of cheating, lying, deceiving, mistrusting, right? And the, the guidance is please trust heaven and trust yourself and your intuition, right? So far. What else? We have heart awakening. Somebody here is awakening to love. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance, Libra. And it's so in line with your energy, right? Give and receive in balance. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. What else? We have open communication. Get a weight off your chest. It's like you have something to say, but we keep quiet because as a Libra, we want to have good relations. So speak up with love and be heard. Open communication. Get a weight off, off your chest. It's time to say something. Speak up with love and be heard. Experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace, Libra. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. And I love this. Bottom of the deck, shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light, um, of healing light surround, surrounding you. So that is a little bit of healing that's needed, right? And it's it's interesting because they have the magician and you have the visualization, which is kind of the magician energy, right? Manifestation comes hand in hand with visualizing. And um, it's protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies. If you are afraid of something, um, Libra, right? It's kind of protecting, protect yourself from your own mind and get the energies of right observation and intuition that's a guidance i'm receiving and we do have reconciliation if that is enough spiritual maturity kindness uh good manners authenticity we do have be authentic forgiving and learning um but it comes with homework right libra um i what am i kid in school right <laughs> Why do we always get homework, right? <laughs> so that we, you know, pass the exam. So anyways, Libra, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.